Hey guys, Dan here with another episode of our Unity Making RPG series. This is, this is episode 25, and we're going to continue with our character creation. Uh, we're going to jump right into it. In uh, Model Develop, I have our Create a Player GUI script and our Display Create Player Function script open. And uh, like I said in the last video, we're going to jump right in and do our selection grid for our classes. So the first thing uh, I want you guys to do, or what you should do, is create a few variables. We can create a private int, and it's going to be a class selection. And then we're going to create a private string array, and we'll call it a class selection names. And we'll set that equal to a new string array, and we're going to put in uh, the classes. This is where you're going to list all the classes you have. Now, I only have two. If you remember, I have a warrior and a mage, but I'm going to make up some. So I'm going to do mage. Oh, no. Mage. If you don't get what I'm doing, it's fine. You'll see. But uh, I just want to have a few so you can kind of see what it should look like. Uh, we'll do Mage, Warrior, Archer, Assassin. I'll do Rogue. There we go. And then we'll do, uh, let's say, Wizard. Uh, that's Warlock. I want, it, I want it at least six. So we'll do one more. Uh, let's say uh, Paladin. Sure. Man, I keep forgetting quotes. Okay, so we have a we have here we have a uh, new string. It's of uh, it's called class selections. It has six things in it, and these are what we're going to display our names in in our selection grid. So a selection grid is pretty simple. It's just got a GUI function. So it's a GUI call. You'll go GUI. Actually, excuse me. We need to set class selection is equal to a GUI dot selection uh, selection grid and then it's going to take a few things the first thing it's going to take is a rect and it's going to be a new rectangle it's going to take uh, the selected value so which is going to be our class selection which is just going to be a number from 0 to uh, 5 because we have uh, six choices it's going to take a GUI content and then it's going to take <coughs> a count um, the count is GUI content is going to be our string, so it's going to be class uh, selection names, and we're going to set it equal to our class selection. So what this does, it's going to when you select it, it's going to sh it should show that name, uh, and then actually just class selection names, and then we'll do int count, and this is the width of um, like how many uh, how many buttons you want wide. Uh, I'm going to do two. This can be up to you. If you have 30 classes, you might want to organize it differently. Uh, so we're going to jump back to this rectangle, and we're going to... The first two are going to uh, describe the width of the buttons. And I'm just going to do 50 and 50 for now. And then you got to do the width and the height. And the width and the height... Oh, excuse me. 50, 50. It's going to be where it starts from the left and where it starts from the top. And then the width and the height is going to be... And then using two is going to... Do, it's going to determine the width of your buttons. So I'm just going to arbitrarily put 250 and 300 for now. I'm going to control S to save. And you remember we're calling this function already in our uh, in our class selection um, in our class selection uh, statement. So I'm going to go to Uni. A control S to save. We shouldn't have any errors, and if we did, I could fix them. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop our uh, new script our uh, create a player GUI script onto our main camera I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn off our old create a new player and we should have a grid and we do so the idea here is that we can select any of these and like I said you can have it different sizes but the idea is is when we select one of these we're gonna display some information about it over here on the right side and you can choose whatever you want so uh, I'm gonna pause I'm going to press play or stop and I'm going to go back into our display create character functions. I'm going to change this to like a, a 4. Control S to save. I'm going to go back to the unit. I just want to show you guys what it does. So here it created 4 wide. It's not the prettiest looking thing. But like I said, if you have tons and tons of classes, you're going to have to organize it differently. And uh, basically it's cool about the selection grid is it acts as toggles, but it only allows you to select one at a time. Uh, and it keeps track of that by this class selection value, this integer value that's that we stored in class selection. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put this back to 2. Controls to save. And um, the next thing what I wanted to do was actually create another uh, function. We're going to call it public void. And it's going to be uh, display uh, main. We'll call it display, uh, I don't know, display main. Call it items for now. I don't know what to call it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But basically, this is where I'm going to put some just generic things. It's going to stay the same on each screen. And um, basically, I'm only going to have one thing for there now. It's going to be a GUI label, and it's going to be equal to oh wait, GUI label. I think it's a rect. So it's going to be a new rect. I'm going to set it in the. I'm going to start it on the in the middle so I'm gonna do so top left from the left I'm gonna go screen dot width divided by two okay so that takes the screen width and divides it by two and then we're gonna go screen height actually we're just gonna start at uh, 20 from the top and we'll make it 100 wide 100 uh, long it doesn't that doesn't really matter I need to add my what the string is and it's gonna be uh, create new player Controls to save. We're going to go back into our create player GUI and we're going to add this at the very top of our uh, GUI. So we're going to call the display functions dot uh, display items. Control S to save. Go back into Unity and we should have, when I press play, we should have a create new player, which we do. It's right here. We need to make it a little bit longer and we still have our buttons. Uh, this will make it uh, 250 wide. Controls to save. Let's see just what it looks like real fast. Should be long enough. Oh, I, that's width. I always get these confused. I always have to look at it. Controls to save. Go back. And that should have fixed it. Okay, perfect. So now, now what we want to do is we have the names here. But what we need to do is display a. Um, we want to display the information that's with that's in this class and the way we're gonna do that is by having a private function uh, private void and it's going to uh, actually we're gonna output a string and we're gonna say um, find excuse me find class description And in this find class description, we're going to take this class selection value. So I guess we'll take an integer and we'll say class selection. And we're going to have if statements. So we're going to say if class selection is equal to a zero. So if it's equal to, so if it's the first, which in our case is a mage. Then we want to go into our base class. We want to have a new. Um, we want to do a base class, base character class, and we'll call it temp class. We'll set that equal to a new mage base mage class, and then we'll go. Uh, then we're going to go return a temp class dot description so what this is doing is that we're creating a new instance of our base mage class and we're going to output this character class description and in here we're going to create a new GUI label so we'll do GUI label uh, we'll have a new rect because it takes a new rect uh, and we'll set it let's say we want it 300 this this one ends at 250 so ends at 300 so we'll start this at 450 we'll start at uh, 50 from the top and we'll make it a uh, 300 wide and 300 long and then it's going to take a string so what you do is you just call this find class find class description let me control this this I just control this I copied and paid, I copied it. Control C, excuse me, and then it takes class selection. Control to save, and we shouldn't have any issues, and we do. Let me see what's going on. What did I do wrong? Oh, it can't. We'll do return. Um, hey, 
It needs to return something. Yep, okay. So here you go. See, we have our description here. So when I click it, it's just going to return hey because I'm not there's nothing else. But as you can see, we can now see what that mage does, which is perfect. So we want to go in here and we want to make uh, else if statements for the rest of the uh, classes that we have. So we're going to go one. For me, I'm just going to do the two because I don't I only have a warrior. But this is what you want to go do for the all your classes. Um, so we'll say base warrior class. And we'll get our description. Otherwise, we'll output. Uh, we'll say no class found. Could be like a catch-all. So I control this save, press play again, and now you can see we have our two descriptions. A strong. We have a wise wizard who can cast spells and a power, a strong, powerful hero. Now the other thing what you can do, you can keep this going, is you can make another private string or a private uh, function, and we can output another string and we can do find uh, class stat values uh, we'll take an integer we'll call it class selection and we're gonna do the same thing I'm gonna go up here I'm gonna grab if class selection that is all this but instead of doing But instead, instead of doing this temp or instead of doing this return temp class characters class description, we're actually going to build a string. So we're going to go string temp uh, temp stats, and we're going to say it's equal to our temp class. Uh, we'll say actually, what's the word for? I think the first one's stamina. So we'll go stamina stamina. We'll do plus, and we'll do uh, actually we need a space. Do plus and we'll do uh, temp class dot stamina. I still haven't fixed that. That's bad. I thought we fixed all those. Anyways, so we have stamina. Oh, and then we want to go add. And then we'll do, um, I believe it's slash backslash in. So that backslash in creates another line. And then we'll do, um, by ta uh, let's say, endurance space plus we'll do temp class dot uh, endurance and I'm actually gonna end it here just uh, you guys can go down and make as long as you want and then we're gonna return temp stats okay so then I'm gonna go up here and I copy this entire line this GUI line and then instead of find class description we're gonna label find class stat values and instead of starting this at four uh, at 50 height we're gonna start this at let's say 100 height control to save go into unity we have a problem again I didn't return all values and that's okay and so we'll return excuse me uh, no stats found and again this is just gonna be a catch-all so control to save we'll go back to unity uh, we got rid of the problem I'm gonna press play and there you go you can see our stats we don't have it on the warrior because I didn't make it. I didn't do it yet, but we have them on the the mage, and this is going to be the basic setup for uh, the new character creation. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add the warrior, and then I'll end the video. Uh, so it's class if class selection is equal to one, we want a new warrior class, base warrior class. Press S and save. It's called Control S and to save. Go back to Unity. Press play again and you can see our stats uh, so like I said this is a, the general setup what I want to do is space this out more make it a little pretty and then uh, what I can do is show you guys how to add a 3d camera so you could put a 3d model in if you want I don't know if your games are going to use uh, 3d models I'm not going to do that most likely I can't model that well uh, or at least rig models for animation so but I can definitely show you guys how to do that I can show you how you like press a button and have it spin or something uh, if you guys want if you guys want that but anyways uh, this is the setup of our character creation uh, in the next video I'm gonna go uh, back into our display stat allocation and our final setup for the characters where we select the name and gender and that will be it for our new revamped character creation 
So I hope you guys liked the video, and uh, thank you again for all the support. It's amazing. Thank you for the views and, subs and the subs. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.